I'm going to start recording now. Andrew, do you have also uh, old, old matches? Yes, I do. About uh, 90. Oh, not that old. I don't think so. <laughs> I've, because I'm old. I've been... <laughs> I've been trying I'd like to, to have this kind of match. Yeah, I've been 97, 98, 99. Yeah, I'll look for them and see if I can find them. I haven't found anything that far back yet. I actually, oh. I was just able to find all of the videos from 2009 World Championships. Ah, okay. So I'll probably post those soon, but um, that's the farthest back I've been able to find good video of. So, mm -hmm. all right, ready to start? Okay. Ready. Hey guys, it's Cyrus of Chaos. I'm here today with Gigi Tarantino, and we're going to be talking about two of his bouts from the Luxardo tournament in 2010 against O Eunsok and against Silagiaron. So we're going to start by watching this bout with him and O in the semifinals. Do you, uh, Gigi, do you remember fencing this O? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the last part of my career. But I remember. <laughs> this was a this was a fun tournament for me. You probably don't remember this, but I actually fenced you in the sixty four of this tournament. Yeah. The Korean was always really physical. Yes, he he was. From the start, yeah. I remember. Long time ago, in the age of, uh, what I say to you, 90, uh -huh. they came only in uh, World Championship, Chinese and Korean. And it was really difficult because you met them on the 64. Because no one knows them. Right. They have no point. Then you have to fight with them in the 64. It was always terrible. Yes. <laughs> because they were really strong, but with not so experienced. Then finally you win with them by strange things. Yeah. Because they didn't know. They, they was not used to fence in this way. Right. The experience but plays a big part. When they came to all competition, finally they are the first in the world. Right. <laughs> yeah. So back during this period of time, there were, I think, 15 World Cups every season, right? Something like that? Uh, yeah. And More. We're not all the competition on the same level. Right. So there would be... But we're a lot, a lot. 16, 17, yeah. Yeah, so there would be tournaments, uh, we called them dirt cups, where maybe like two or three strong countries would show up to and there would be nobody else. I, I fenced a dirt cup in Venezuela and got a bye into the top 32. So they're just like, some yeah. tournaments were much weaker than others, but... This tournament was very strong, and the Koreans, like you said, would show up to, like, two tournaments a year and world championships. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was it was crazy. So without points, you met them in 64. <laughs> right. That's what happened with, uh, with Gu. He showed up to a random tournament and got second place. Yeah. <laughs> and also with Oh San Gyu, that yeah. won with Aldo in semifinal, semi I yes. think, in Luxar. Yes, yes was him first competition yeah and i know he didn't came to world championship he is crazy yeah so what was your plan fencing oh here you know i know him i i knew him and uh, i knew that i have to go in attack mm -hmm. because they are really strong when they turn forward then you have to press him in the middle and you have to start, you see? Yes. Well, always to go, because it's really difficult to defend with them. They are too physical. Yeah. For European body. <laughs> they are completely different. Yes. They, they look like gymnastic uh, athletes. The risk is that you, I had to go too fast and too early, and then he can do parade post. Mm -hmm. But you have to count this risk. Right. They look like not so technical, but they have. Strange technique, but they have technique. Yes, exactly. A lot of the time, um, 
they don't get much praise for their technique. Everyone talks about how physical they are, but they're like uh, Gu and uh, O oh Sanguk these days are really technical. Yeah, and especially Gu is a little bit different. Right. Because he has, I don't know in English, false time, you know? You think that he's Finnish, but go. Yes, he, um, yeah, yeah. Like he, second, third attack. Yes. Strange timing. Yes, his lunge is really difficult to deal with. Yeah, and he's the only one completely different than other. Right. Kim, Osang Yuk, Gu, uh, sorry, Ho, uh, they, they have something similar. Right. Gu is completely different. Yes, Gu is very strange. Uh, do you remember yeah. uh, Chung? Chung used to be a little bit like Gu as well. Who? Chung, C-H-U-N-G. Uh, I don't know him. Yeah, he, he was doing pretty Gu. well for a little while. He fenced a lot like Gu, but he doesn't fence anymore. Yeah, okay. Then here the problem was that I was... 38. <laughs> nice period. Young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the things that, that really struck me about fencing you earlier that day was I was I was really surprised by how fast your hand was. Like mm-hmm. like in, in this situation, you put your you put your hand down but are still able to get a very clean parry. Yeah, you know I had Always Russian coaches. Yeah. I am Italian, but Russian were always my coaches. Then S- Sidiac, right? Mix. Italian mentality and Russian technique. I mm. think is the best because also Aldo has Russian coaches. Oh, really? I didn't and, know that. Yeah. Only me and Aldo. <laughs> the only two Italians that won something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I really like the start here. Yeah. Nice and slow to see what he does. Mixed because I feel that Korean doesn't like to go too fast. If you press them, they go back. Then you can imagine the situation and you have to start with the blind uh, eyes. You see? Yes. I I know if he, he will do attack on preparation, I will get touch. They, he, he will touch me. But... I feel that he wants to go back. Yeah, I, li- I like the start a lot because you you wait for the amount of time that he waits, and as soon as he stops, you just go after him. Yeah, you know now with Osangyuk is really difficult because he has a bionic body. Yes. <laughs> to feel, if you want to feel, he start. You have to 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 decide like roulette, black or red. <laughs> you have to decide before because he's too fast. He's not human. Yeah, too fast and very tall. Yeah, but you can you imagine? I, I fence a lot of time with um, uh, from New York. I go. Um, I go. He's <laughs> tall. Yes. But he's completely different. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's incredible. There are some pictures that the legs are here and the the body is right. her back. Yes, I remember. I'll try to find that picture incredible. for this video. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's really incredible. When I start to do that, it means that I'm without hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because That's... I was old, I told you. Yeah. And usually before competition, I went out all, all night. <laughs> for, because I don't, I don't like the pressure of competition. Right, then, right. To, to, Relax. To feel better, I went out all night, and after I go directly to competition. <laughs> Always. Always. You won this tournament the year before, didn't you? Yeah, I won this tournament three times in my career. And when you when you win the Luxardo tournament three times, you get a special trophy, don't you? 
No, you get a special trophy if no one won three times before you. Oh, that's very difficult. In, in my age, one time won uh, Posnyakov and stop. Only Posnyakov won. Oh, wow. Because you have to win three times, but no one has to win before you. Okay, so three times in a row. Yeah. That's crazy. And Posnyakov won. <laughs> oh, my God. But I was two or three times second and three or four times third. Yeah. You see, if you start, it's impossible. Though. Yeah. Another thing that um, people who are watching might notice from these bouts is that it, fencing used to be a lot slower and... The reason for that is because the referees used to call attack and preparation a lot more. So in this period, the timing of a machine was different. Right, and the timing was shorter too. So if you tried to make a really fast attack, you'd either get hit in prep or it would be one light yeah. against you a lot of the time. So yeah. you had to start slow. Which timing do you like better? What? Which uh, which timing do you like better, the the short one or the longer one? Uh, for me, it was better the longer one because I like to go in attack. Mm -hmm. I don't like to defend. <laughs> then for me, if I I give pressure on in the middle, uh, after for me it was easier to touch in attack with a longer time. Right. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it didn't even look like he was finishing there. I will do this touch also with C like. Yeah? Oh right, right, right. At um yeah. at four fourteen ten, yeah. Yeah. I have special guests here, look. Gino. Ciao, Gino. <laughs> Basta, Gino, dai! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, the, that was the call I was talking about. For me, was attack, uh, go attack so in preparation. But I was always to <laughs> to confuse the referee. Mm. <laughs> you have to press. Yes. On the on the <laughs> also to the referee. Right. You see now it's all attack. Right, right. Because I work with the party. <laughs> it is on film. Yeah. But because Bravo of the pressure. Bruno Bravo, Bruno Gabby. Yeah. <laughs> attack. Tarantino attack. Yep. Yeah. Oh, attack. Santane, you see? Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the Koreans are so good when they get on a long attack at um, at holding their arm. It's very difficult to parry them. Correct. Yeah. Also, only Aldo can do parry repose with them. <laughs> Aldo and maybe Aaron Zilaji. Yeah. But stop. The other are without chance. Yeah, it's hard. Like all awesome uh, <laughs> legs <laughs> in the middle, 
and body on the two meters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Yeah. That was an amazing touch, and he made it. He made it look very easy, but it's not. No. <laughs> because my attack was really long. Yeah. You see? Tarantino is tired. <laughs> yeah, especially when you're tired, you need to slow down the pace of the bout, and you're doing a really good job of doing that. With, this was semi-final, right? Semi-final, yeah. And final with C Limbach. Silagi Aron. Ah, the final with Silagi. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. That's the next one. Ah, okay. Night before I was in uh, <laughs> Milano Marittima. You know where it is? No. It's a, a summer place, really famous in Italy, where the football player, the star of TV, go. Okay. And I was there in the, in the special disco till seven o'clock, <laughs> and and I lost the bus to go to the competition. I went with the car Ferrari. You remember? You was there? I was there. Yeah. Yeah, I went with Ferrari, white Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I was dying. So this was back when um, Salagi was coming up. I think he only had uh, yeah, one. But you know, I saw I saw Silagi the first time in two thousand seven in team competition. Mm. Um, we lost with uh, Zilashi was in the final and fenced with uh, Pozniakov. He was losing forty thirty seven. He was seventeen years old and won. With wow! Pozniakov. It means. Something was in the, you know, yeah, yeah, star. right, in the a star in the making, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was now he, with Zilaj is completely different fencing because he's really, really, really technique mm -hmm. fencer. Mm -hmm. But you know, he's not so uh, he he doesn't want to win a lot. I think he wants to 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 do beautiful fencing. Yes, I know what you mean. But beautiful fencing is not always the best. The, the, yeah, it's for that that he won more Olympic games than World Cup. <laughs> Interesting. So I, th I think earlier in the day, Salagi beat Montano really badly, like fifteen two or something, right? Did you guys talk about that bout to get ready for this one? Or are you just... With Aldo? Yes. Yeah, you know, Aldo is one of the most beautiful talent that I saw in my life. Yeah. I think he's much more stronger than Aaron, but he's afraid of everything. Really? He's not so sure... Per yeah. He's not so uh, sure person, but... Mm. Aldo is a winner. If in the competition he will go to top eight, he will win. The difference between me and Aldo. I was happy to be in top four. And I went in top four a lot of times. In uh, European individual, six times. In World Champions individual, seven times. In World Cup individual, 85 times. <laughs> Aldo went one time in European and won, one time in uh, Olympic Games and won, one ta three times in the World Championship and won one time. He's winner. Yeah. If the competition, he, if this day he's not afraid, he will win. But not always is sure. Not always he's, uh, he has confidence. 
Interesting. So you think he just wasn't very confident against Salagi on that day? Yeah, maybe this day he, he had something in, in mind, in head. I don't know. Yeah. But really, really often happened, happened that Aldo was not ready for the competition. Interesting. strange situation. Yeah. So when you were going into this bout with Salagi, do you remember what you were trying to do here? <laughs> I remember that I was really died. I said tired. I have to find, yeah. I said I have to fence in the middle because uh, in my mind I risk the hospital <laughs> because if I go back, and, <laughs> it's too dangerous for me. But then I want to fence only in the middle. But yeah. you know he's not stupid. He's really smart. Yeah. And call me to do all the beast. Right. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. For example, this touch is attack contra attack. Yes, I thought so too. But you know, the referee, especially Florea. Never change one touch in the video. Never in him life. Mm. Only one time between me and Zong in Olympic Games. I was winning 11-8. He gave me the touch. 12-8. He went to the video and changed. First time and last time in him life. <laughs> and I lost 15-14. Yes, I remember that as well. Back back then, um, if you put your foot down, it was always attack no. Even if yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if the defender tried to take a parry, it was yeah, always attack yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before what we this time machine was in this in this way. Now it's better if you change to do parry post and he does faint cut. Yeah, it's attack composite. Right. Yes. Or attack, no repost, no reprise. Right, but either way, the the attacker still gets the point. Yeah. Another reason that it was a lot slower and harder to attack back then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was much more difficult to, do, to go in attack. Yeah. Wow. I, I thought that was Perry. One lamb. Yeah. The double jump. He gives me a yellow card. Why? For taking off your mask. He's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> there are those fast hands. Did you... Do you put your... Do you put your hand down like that to invite an attack so that you can parry it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Russian said that to invite your opponent, you have to open sector. Mm -hmm. Then you can do go. You can do. You can go down or in one way, left or right. Right. And he will touch you in the other way. This is Russian theory, but sometimes it was good. So <laughs> so see? he. So here you went down and then up to three yeah. so that you could go to four. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that touch was clean. Okay. Same thing. Yeah, three times in a row. Yeah. This match was really technical because in the first 10 touches were eight or nine parity posts. Oh, really? Yeah. 
between them, yeah. You see? Yeah. Now he plays it off. Always. Bam, 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 always. <laughs> Yep. I like that change because the last yeah. few the last few times you've parried him so he's going to hold to yeah. try to go around it. Yeah, you have to you have to do something different because your opponent doesn't have to know that you do always the same because mm -hmm. it's too easy for him. Yes. Shame. Yes, exactly. Then, even if he he will go in the, in attack direct and you will take the touches, it's not problem, but you will give him a doubt. Yes, something else to think about besides just the one thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes you have to sacrifice one touches, but after you, you, uh, you will have more options. Right. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, look this touch. One time, one line. You see? Yes, be because of the old timing. Yeah. You were even extending when he when he did the counter attack. Look. Almost in the same moment. Look. Boom. Near. No. One line. On the head. Yep. <laughs> was really difficult to go in attack with this man, with this time. Yeah. And now he will do another, look, second. <laughs> He's strong, really, really strong. Yeah. Maybe if uh, uh, the Olympic Games w were not uh, 2021, but this year he won a game. That would be interesting. Yeah, I think next year will will be all the. You think so, I lo I lost you a little bit. You said um, next year you think O will win, but Salagi you thought would win this year. Yeah. Why do you think O yeah. will win next year? Oh, because we'll have one year more of experience. He's too young. Mm. He's young. And I think next year we'll be ready to win. I see. Wow. Touch, pom -pom. Yeah. That was I, a nice. I think I will give him end of complete compliment. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that was that was a nice touch. Yeah. Let me see. Usually in this situation I will give to him end. Now you see with the with the saber I give. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you gave him a thumbs up too. Yeah. So what would you be trying to change here? You know, really, believe me, I was without energy. <laughs> I, I believe I you. Put, yeah, the match is going to the end. And they said, I have to do the last, you know, uh, fatigue. I don't know in English. Fatigue, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to do something good. Hmm. This, this was my only idea. Trying to do all my best to win, but mm. I know, I knew, I know that I have no energy. Yeah, it's it's hard when you're fencing and you're exhausted. Yeah, old man. Yeah. <laughs> remember.
Just just trying to take some time here. Yeah. It's a good strategy. <laughs> It's nice, the first faint cut we've seen so far. And there's that attack no call. Mm -hmm. But he give me. Yep. <laughs> we already said he wasn't going to change it. You see, this touch was really usual with this machine. Yeah. With this touch. Incredible. But she did pretty well on this timing, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. A, you know, when I start to go in a senior competition, you was all. You can cross the leg. You know. Oh no! I didn't know that. Yeah. You can cross in attack. Huh. After was double touch, like in a pe in the middle. Huh. You didn't know in saber. Oh, I know that there was um. There used to be priority in the middle. Before with normal saber. <laughs> After, but for one year they try to do. When was simultane one touch one touch. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, like a pe. <laughs> but after they left this uh, situation. Yeah, that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. Gina! <laughs> so my, my body language. <laughs> I want to go to the bed. Uh, you see? I remember that, yeah. Yeah, two. How in how in America you call this parade? Second. We we say two. Two. Yeah. Two, two. two, three, four, and five. So that would be jump oh. jump two. Okay. Jump. Two. Jump two. Tarantino's looking for his bed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was when I was filming this, there were like five kids standing next to me and they were just going crazy every time you got a touch at the end. I think that was second repost. The two repost of Zilaj. But he gave Pare repost. Yeah.
It's part of fencing. Yeah, he, he never changed, you see? Never, never, never. Mm. I told you only one time. Take <laughs> me, take me. Now I say to my corner, I I can't go one, two steps. I have to do parity post. Chose four or three. Mm -hmm. They said four. I said, okay. <laughs> For me, it was the same. Say two or four. They said four. Okay. You see? <laughs> Dino, Dino Medio. Dino is your coach? Uh, something like coach. Mm. I did. I don't have lesson with him, but he was on my corner. Gotcha. Yeah, he was the only one that can speak with me during the match. I see. So, do you see anybody else? coming up these days like um like Salagi or O. Any any young fencers who are you really impressed with? Oh. Only O San Duke. Nobody else? Mm, I don't think so. Curatoli can be good, but I don't know if he's ready to do this competition like Aaron or uh, Aldo mm -hmm. or Posnia or for me or Kovalu. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe now only O is on this top level. The other one are really strong fencer, but not in this level. Hmm. Any other really good uh, young Italians coming up? Italians, we were we had really uh, big talents. Roma, you know him? I do he know won, him. Uh, Yes, he was junior even this year, but he left fencing. Yeah. It's really strange in Italy. You know, because in Italy it's not like in USA that you have to go to the university. In Italy, uh, priority is sport. Really? The sport. Yeah, because you have good life, you have money, mm. you have success, you are famous. But he said, no, I, I don't have the same feeling like before. I don't want to fence anymore. Mm. It's first time in Italy that someone were <laughs> world champion in junior and uh, last year stop. I said, uh, try to do one year more. You are still junior. You will go in a um, military club. You will do nothing. You will have uh, money. You have only to fence, to try. And you can go to the... University. He said, no, 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 I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. He's on And then he stopped. He was really big talent. Really. Yeah. And the other one is uh, um, Matteo Neri. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, for him it's Salute. difficult. Don't... Thank you. For, for him it's difficult. He's senior because you never know. Between junior and senior is big difference. Right, yeah, it is. Yeah, he got his first uh, top 16 this year, didn't he? At a senior World Cup? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm allergic, you know? <laughs> Easter period, I'm allergic. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, from the other country, I don't know who can be good like O. Mm -hmm. Dershwitz is young, but not young like O. Right, right, but right. But he's really good. Yeah. What do you like really about what do you like about uh, Eli's fencing? Really good. I, I like him uh, um, body. He's always in perfect uh, balance. Yeah, balance. I like him. He's he wants to win. He's really smart, and uh, he has uh, he wants to win always. Yes, I like the fencers. Yes, you know, Zilashi has not this feeling. Right. Sometimes, like. sometimes, but but not always. Yeah, sometimes, and when he, yes, he win. <laughs> yeah, but from other country, I think that uh, Russian are, are going down. Mm. 
since uh, since Bauer left, right? Germany are going down, French down. Every country is good, but I think this top eight will be uh, favorite for five, six, eight year more. Hmm. What do you think happened to uh, to Gu? He used to be so much better than he is now, and now yeah, maybe he's. You know, you never know when the 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 fencer starts to going down. Mm. Maybe he starts to win really young. Yeah. And he has a lot of success. Yeah. And now he has no motivation to continue. Yeah, maybe. And now also he's in the team and he knew that they don't need him power. They right. won always. Yeah. Then he's also not too motivated to do the best. Right. Yeah, it's when you've when you've done so well for such a long time, it's hard to keep your your motivation up. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, but you know, he's in the team and he will win again. Then he st- he continue. Yeah, but with not the same strength like before. Right. Yeah, I remember the the first year that he came up, the first tournament. Yeah. I I'd, I'd never heard of him, and he got second, and then he he got a medal at almost every tournament he went to that season. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, in Cor- in Korea, it's not too easy to be in, in team. It's not point. Right. The team is team. Yeah. To go in the team, you have to win everything, yeah. and maybe you will not in the team. Yeah, yeah. The it's different uh, mentality. Yes, it's very different. Yeah, the one of the coaches told me that uh, they don't send anyone to a World Cup if they don't think that they can win the World Cup. Yeah. So it's true. Yeah. I saw uh, one time Korean competition. I think the first 16 can be in the top four in World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're... It's really high level. Yeah, they're crazy. And they... Yeah, it makes me wonder what other Koreans there are that could win a World Cup that we've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> and you will never see again. Maybe. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that used to happen all the time. They would win like junior world championships or something, and then you would just yeah, never see yeah. them. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's a it's a very different mentality, definitely. Yeah, completely different. No. Yeah. How do you like coaching? I like. Yeah, I like. For me, it's like uh, be a fencer. It's different emotion, but similar. Yeah. I like. Up till now, I'm the chief of. Uh, coaches in a junior right but i hope sooner or later to be the the head coach of national team oh fantastic yeah <clears throat> did you learn how to give lessons from your russian or italian coaches or you yeah i did mixed because i had russian coaches and uh, christian bauer french coaches mm. it's completely different fencing yeah way of fencing one is in the uh, uh, second intention, one is direct. But I like something of both. Which one is the, the second intention? Bowers coaching? French. Yeah, French. Okay. Hungarian French, because they are connected. Because you know, the first, uh, the first head coach of French team was Hungarian. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, was the, the, the head coach of Christian Bauer. Okay. Uh, yeah, Hungarian. I don't remember now the name, but he's, he was he trained also in China. Hmm. Interesting. Why? Why? So, what is it about uh, Christian Bauer that makes his his students always so good? Like, wherever he goes, everyone starts doing well. Why? Why is that? For first, Christian Bauer is really good coach. Right. But what makes him so good? That's that's what I want to know. But he went always in the top nation. Mm. He will go to uh, Bulgaria. He will not win. He okay. went Italy, China, and in that period, he never won with the team. Mm. But he had the first team of uh, ladies. You know? You yes. Remember? Yes. Yes, I do. And he didn't win. Mm. After he went to Russia. And he won only with the girls, but the girls are <laughs> top. Yeah, already Russian really good. Girls are the top. 
then it's true that he won everywhere, but he went always in good nation. So he's he's a great coach who goes to a place where there are in already the right place. where there are already exceptional fencers. Yeah, yeah. I see. Sure. Right. Well, thank you so much for, for watching these bouts and talking with okay. me today. See you when you want. I will be ready. Okay? Fantastic. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. amico.